many reactions and processes in chemistry are reversible. A reversible reaction is one in which the reaction can proceed in both directions. Reactants can react to form products in what is called the forward reaction, and these products can also react to form the reactants in what is called the backwards or reverse reaction. For example, hydrogen and iodine gas can be reacted together to form hydrogen iodide. Hydrogen iodide, the product, is also able to react with itself and form hydrogen and iodine. This means the reaction is reversible. There is a forward reaction, hydrogen and iodine reacting together, and a backwards reaction, hydrogen iodide forming hydrogen and iodine. For some reversible reactions, like the one just shown, if reactants are mixed together and start to form products, there will be a mixture formed that contains both the reactants and products of the forward reaction. This means now both the forward and reverse reactions can happen. These reactants and products keep constantly reacting. If the forward and reverse reactions occur at the same rate, the amounts of all substances in the mixture will be constant, as whenever reactants react to form one mole's worth of product, in the same length of time, one mole's worth of product will have reacted to reform reactants, meaning there is no overall change in moles of reactants or products in the mixture. When this is happening, the system is said to be in a state of dynamic equilibrium. For example, let's think about hydrogen and iodine again. If we mixed some hydrogen and iodine gas together in a sealed container, they would start to react and form hydrogen iodide. The sealed container makes the system closed. No particles can get in or out. At the start, there will be lots of hydrogen and iodine molecules, meaning a high concentration of both. They will collide together frequently, and the rate of the forward reaction will be high. As a result, the product hydrogen iodide will be produced very quickly, and its concentration will start to increase. The concentrations of hydrogen and iodine will start to decrease, however, and this will slow down the rate of the forward reaction. As hydrogen iodide starts to get formed, it can start to react to form hydrogen and iodine, the backwards or reverse reaction. Initially, there is a low concentration of hydrogen iodide, meaning the rate of this reverse reaction is pretty slow. However, as the concentration of hydrogen iodide starts to increase from more of the hydrogen and iodine reacting together, the rate of the backward reaction will start to increase and will happen faster. As time goes on then, the rate of the forward reaction decreases and the rate of the reverse reaction increases. Eventually, there will come a point where the rates of both become the same. In the time it takes for one mole of hydrogen and iodine to react and form two moles of hydrogen iodide, two moles of hydrogen iodide will also react and form one mole of hydrogen and one mole of iodine. Once this point is reached, the concentrations of everything in the mixture no longer change. This is dynamic equilibrium. The word in here is really important. The dynamic part refers to the fact that both the forward and reverse reactions are still happening. In our example, hydrogen and iodine are constantly colliding and forming hydrogen iodide, and hydrogen iodide is constantly reacting to form hydrogen and iodine. The equilibrium part refers to the fact that the rates of both reactions are the same, and it looks like the system isn't changing at all. Concentrations of everything stay the same, and all physical properties of the system, like colour, temperature and pressure, stay the same as a result.